What's going on everyone? As always, thanks for being here and God bless. Just want to do a real quick little kind of product spotlight thing, if you will. Um, I've never used Coral Pro Salt from Red Sea before. Uh, the only reason I'm really making this video is to kind of show you, hey, this is what I'm going to try to use and see what it does for me. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. But uh, back to the product and why am I doing this spec? There was a couple of things that jumped out at me about this product. In a good way. So the first thing is, let me set the phone down, sorry. <gasps> Turn this around. Okay. First thing is the chart on the back. Okay, so it's basically just saying this is the recommended elements for different aquarium types. So you have your, you know, the tested element, the mixed reef, and then the SPS frags or accelerated growth. So I'm assuming this would be more or less for, obviously, as it says, either frags um, or accelerated growth, but uh, for SPS dominant tanks or maybe some frag cut tanks that have got, you know, the fresh cut frags in them. And then this is just, as it says, mixed reefs. You got all sorts of different coral in there. So I do think that's kind of neat that they do provide you with what they recommend. And I know Red Sea is good stuff. They've been in the business for a very, very long time. A lot of their stuff is backed by research. So I trust this. Kind of breaks stuff down for you, which I thought was kind of neat. And then it gives you a very detailed kind of instructions and background information. The other thing that I really liked about this, um, it's kind of goofy, but I was really excited about it, was this. One second. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Maybe not. Hold on. Sorry, I had really twisted it on there before. But this here. This is a huge deal to me. Okay, the lid doesn't just snap on, it actually twists and locks. Okay, it screws right on, like a, like a cap on a pop bottle or anything else. The reason I really, really like that, I'm kind of geeked out about it, is because a lot of the other salt that I bought before, it's a snap on lid. So there's two issues with this. Number one, I don't really feel like it's as good a seal as this twist and lock feature. So air, or not necessarily air, but moisture, I guess I should say, um, I, I've always found kind of leaks into my, my salt containers one way or another. The other thing is they're a pain in the butt to uncap and recap. You don't always, you know, get a, a tight seal. There might be a lip that hangs over a little bit or doesn't quite clamp the way you want it to. Um, and then when you try to peel it back off, that lid back off, a lot of times it can be really, really difficult. I've, um, I'm, I'm a fairly strong guy and I've actually had some previous uh, salt containers where I had to use like screwdrivers like I mean like a pry and open a paint can every time I had to open it up and that's just a pain in the butt to me so I'm, I'm really excited about that that to me is just just worth it in general the other thing is the minute you open it this stares you in the face reef care recipes this is really neat so for they're saying for a mixed reef recipe and they kind of show you a picture here with all the different coral and fish these are kind of the water parameters that they recommend, the kind of salt that they recommend, and then some of the other elements that you can add. So basically we all know that calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium is huge in any system, especially SPS dominated tanks. So then they kind of recommend some of their other products. The Coral Nutrition Reef Energy A and B, I do have that, however, I'm not going to be using it, uh, but I will discuss that product in a later video and why I'm choosing not to use it. Then they have an SPS dominated recipe where they're actually saying just the red sea salt, which I find kind of interesting because the reason I bought the Coral Pro was because I was assuming that it was for SPS, but according to them, uh, they'd rather you go with this one, but that's okay. I'm going to use this and just go from there. Then they have the ultra low nutrient system where they're recommending pretty much the same things. And then, uh, you know, the trace elements, the uh, algae management, and then, well, it's probably, I wonder if it's the same as the beginning. Yeah, for the most part it is. But the specs are a little bit different. Like if you look at the SPS dominated recipe, the salinity, calcium, magnesium, etc., is a little bit different than the ultra low nutrient. See, they're saying this of, of seven for alkalinity, where previously it was eight, 33 for salinity, where I believe this one was 34 or 35. 35. So it's just a really neat little booklet, especially for people that are like, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what parameters I should be doing for what. Um, I, I, I'm going to hold on to this because I'm actually going to follow these parameters and, you know, maybe a couple others, uh, depending on the research that I find, because I really do think oh, there's a tips section as well. That's pretty neat. I do think the best way for success is to find somebody else that has been successful and to do your best to kind of copy their game plan. Now, that's not always to say that you're going to be successful 
um, but just you know in a lot of other things in life you know if you look at somebody that's successful or whatever it is that they're doing you would like to do and they become a success at it you you know try to follow their game plan but I'm gonna follow this little recipe book and just kind of do a little bit of my own research and see what happens so I just wanted to show you guys that I think it's pretty neat the way that this is packaged uh, one other tip I will give you guys in this video is when you're using salt, any kind of salt, whatever it is, the minute that you open it, don't just open it and then start adding it to the water and mixing it up. You should really take this, take the salt out of the package, dump it into whatever buck is provided, bucket is provided or container that's provided, and really mix it up, stir it around, uh, you know, shake it up because what actually happens is stuff will settle and other elements will kind of settle up or settle down within the salt so then if you go to mix it up without stirring it effectively you could for instance add you know maybe uh, way too much calcium and not enough magnesium etc etc just kind of like how if you have a bottle of tea you want to shake the bottle of tea before you drink it because everything settles at the bottom it's the same thing with your salt so make sure you mix your salt up prior to mixing it in water all right guys uh, leave a comment like if you think this helped and please subscribe and share take care